I figured I might as well do a little Shein unboxing since I got a package in the mail today that's from Shein. As you can see, I, I started to open it and then I was like, wait, I might as well do an unboxing. I honestly don't remember half the things I got in here. Um, but, you know, I, they always have good coupons. It's always really cheap stuff. I normally end up spending like a hundred bucks on a lot of stuff, but yeah, there's always coupons and things. And it does take a while for the shipping to happen, but hey, if it's just an impulse buy and you don't need it tomorrow, it's honestly not that bad of a deal. So one of the things, uh, like as I go through these, what, what I kind of am thinking of doing is just kind of, um, maybe explaining some things that stick out to me, whether or not they're true, I don't know. <laughs> but, but for instance, okay, ugly packaging is all I can say, right? It's like, this is not retail packaging. It's not pretty. It's somewhat, sometimes a little bit descriptive. A lot of times it isn't. I like to, fun fact, I like to use Google, like the Google app on your phone it has a translator built in that you can use on visuals. So what I like to do just for funsies is use that to see like, oh, what do these Chinese characters mean? And and sometimes like if, if they're stationary with um, Chinese or Japanese characters on it, I'll use it for that too, but we'll probably get to that. So again, I, I imagine that this probably factors into how cheap the products are because they're obviously not paying anyone to design it. I mean, this is just like very, very basic. They're not paying for anything pretty. Another way that I'm sure that they save money is by sending things in simply bags. I think I might have gotten one box, but I don't even, I'm not even sure. So that's a, also a con, right? Because some of the things that you'll see on the website are kind of fragile and I'm not sure how well they ship because these boxes, again, are not, not only are they not pretty, but they're gonna come crushed and stuff, which is just, again, part of the experience because you, you're paying like next to nothing for these things. So what was in this random box that says nightlight? Something that really I would not use as a light, nightlight. Um, it's going to be in a cabinet and I actually bought one of these already. It was very bright. That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't actually use it as a nightlight but I'm going to put it in a bookshelf. One didn't seem like good enough, so I'm gonna have two, and I'm gonna have it like it, they have it in the picture where you have two and then the lines of the lights overlaps a little bit. So, you know, again, cheap, and it feels cheap. I mean, it feels like empty, because I mean, it pretty much is. But it's bright. Again, if, if you're just looking for like kind of cheap, fun, random impulse buys, yeah, it, it fits the bill. Next we have, again, another blank package and nothing out, um, legible, that's what I was gonna say, L legible, except for made in China. But as for the, these characters, I have no idea. But that's when I could bring up my Google Translate, but also, let's see, low voltage lighting. So again, sometimes it tells you some actually useful things if you know what you're doing. I don't remember what this is, so let's find out. Oh, okay. So this is a little like Halloween lantern. Okay, talk about another thing here with Shein is that everything on here is tiny. Think like Zoolander, where you see something on the picture and you're like, wow, like that looks pretty, pretty nice. That looks pretty legitimate. And then you actually take it out and you're like, wow, I should have looked at the dimensions because the dimensions that they list on the website are true, but you're not gonna pay attention to that. Most people are not, especially the first time you're gonna learn a lot of things. So that's pretty cool. Actually in person, it looks okay too. Again, it feels super cheap. I mean, this is incredibly light, but I can't remember how much I paid for it. Just a couple bucks, eh, it's fine. It's fine. If, again, if you know that it's not gonna last, whatever. I got some pumpkin stickers, uh, 100 and f at least I think 150 stickers for like two bucks or something. It's not bad. It's a pretty thick roll of stickers, so that's fine. They're paper ones, 
in case you're wondering, so they're not waterproof. Got this little guy. Again, notice, no, no frills, no fancy packaging so far anyway. And again, nothing in English besides made in China. What this is, this is actually the second one I bought. I, I look at everything on Shein. I like to just window shop because you learn a lot about different cultures, honestly. Um, and for some reason, and maybe someone can explain this to me, for some reason, I don't know if this is Chinese or Japanese, but they have a love for utility knives. Sorry, that's my cat I'm using her scratching ball right now. They have a love of utility knives for crafting. I have no idea, again, if this is Japanese or Chinese, but this is a little cloud with a lanyard hoop on it for some reason that has a little crafting knife in it, like a little um, X-Acto knife for a dollar. So again, uh, this actually, funny enough, this actually feels like the heaviest thing so far. But yeah, it's pretty nice because if you're gonna cut things that are gluey, you know, and then the blade gets all gluey anyway, a dollar, hey, I can contribute to the pollution of the earth by throwing it away. Here's another random box. And it says nightlight. So I think, I guess I bought three. That kind of sums up my Shein experience. I guess I, I did buy two of those or three of those. So again, it's the same thing. You just tap it, not tap it, and you push it. And then you get that. But yeah, no, they do look the same. Okay. Then I got a random utility thing. So this is a jar opener. Again, nothing fancy, right? If this was sold at Walmart, the same exact thing. They'd put, you know, a cardboard piece on there and maybe two little twisty ties to connect it to the cardboard. It'll have a brand, it'll say all this stuff. This is unbranded stuff, right? And so that takes away some cost. And note also that it has no idea as to what it is. Another thing, since, since this is obvious at the moment, the plastic that they use, I think is the world's loudest plastic. I think they might test it for like decibel level before they start wrapping stuff in it. Cause it is intolerable. Sorry, I should have I should have done a headphone warning. It's intolerable. It's so loud. It's so loud. So honestly, one of the first things I do when I get my hauls is I unwrap everything in plastic because it's just too loud. It's very loud. So yeah, this is something I've been wanting I'm struggling with my grip recently with jars. <laughs> and so, yeah, I thought that was worth like two bucks or whatever. And then I treated myself to this, which is shrink wrapped. Um, and we got some info on here, but not really. Three voltage, wait, so what kind of battery does it need? I don't know, we'll find out. It looks skinny, I don't know. And it's printed on there. So again, not quality, but if it's just gonna go on the shelf on your office like it is for me, it doesn't really matter, honestly, to me, to me anyway. Then we got some, let's see, I'm trying to keep all the stationary stuff in a second. Another light, so I guess I bought three of those. That checks out. Okay, I guess we're getting into stationary now. Okay this guy adorable now here's another thing that maybe somebody will be able to answer me I am a little bit confused when it comes to these these washi tape pack packages and stuff because I don't know if it's made in China okay this one says made in China but what I've seen is sometimes like the paper will be imported from Japan and stuff. So I'm not sure if there's like counterfeit Japanese or like rip off Japanese stuff that's like inspired by Japan and then the Chinese factories make it anyway. I'm not exactly sure how that goes down because obviously everything else is like rip offs. <laughs> um, and so I'm not really sure about this. But the washi tape is like so just honestly very cute. I don't even do anything with washi tape, but it's just cute. So I'm gonna find uses for it and 
when I say that, like sometimes it'll just be display or whatever, but it's, it's so affordable because at other stores is like really expensive, but this stuff is really cheap. You can buy a lot of it. You can buy a lot of different brands or not brands, a lot of different kinds, a lot of different styles and stuff like that. So speaking of washi tape, I got some Christmas stuff. So this is not an example of it. Maybe we'll come across one in a minute. And you can see they're pretty thin here. Sometimes on Shein, they'll have really weird sayings on things that I find very funny because it's like they put it through Google Translate and they didn't bother to ask anyone who speaks English. Again, this is kind of a question that I have. I'm not really sure if these are like misprints because a lot of times I feel like they are. I feel like these are like B grade stuff where like it didn't quite pass quality control. And so they were like, uh, we still gotta sell it though, or we could still sell it. And so here's like the clearance bin prices. Um, I don't know, I don't know, but I have a feeling based on all of the stuff I've seen, it seems very plausible. I bought a little bit more of Christmas tape. Again, the loudest packaging, headphone warning. Okay, why, why, why is that so, why is that so loud? I just a little bit of random Christmas tape. Again, what am I gonna do it with? Let's do with it, I don't know. It's just cute. This is American consumerism, they got me. Again, that's my dog. No, she's, a, she's still, she's got a mosquito bite. Okay, there we go. Deco stickers and it has Chinese writing on it, made in China, this says made in China. Okay, now one little hint for you is that these are kind of see-through stickers, which means that they're not gonna have a white outline. So that was something I did not take into consideration the first time I bought a haul of things. And so I was spending too much time cutting off the white edges which i did not like so then I, my next order i'm i was just like okay let me get me some translucent ones and then there's things like this don't super know what it is i think it's like flags and thing or like highlighting stickers like translucent i'm not really sure we'll find out that's part of the fun then we have again this super loud plastic and some more translucent stickers. It's just cute. Like, how do you say no to anything that's like, like a frozen beverage or milk slash boba tea, right? I mean, how can you say, you can't say no to that. That's impossible. Again, especially as an American. Oh, look at this. A roll of glitter washi tape. Again, not that thick. <laughs> For some reason, a uh, crazy size roll, but they also have washi tape holders and dispensers. So literally for my office, I got, they had like a rainbow pack. So I split the pack into two and I put half of the rainbow in one of my containers and half in the other so that I could just display it. And that looks kind of, kind of cute. If I may say so myself, we're almost done. We have, I don't know. Um, so if anyone knows what this says, oh, never mind. It must be washi tape. Just kidding. Ha ha ha. But look at this one. So some of them are really thick and have a lot of washi tape and some of them have barely any, but another Christmas one. And then some more translucent stickers. I'm trying to knock them down at the bottom. Which are just adorable, made in China. And almost done. We got some more translucent stickers. Again, I was trying to go for that translucent. Oh, that was my dog. She's saying I need to stop talking. Okay, I got this, which is cute. It has like five different little, t oh, can I hold on. She's getting really mad. I guess I have to get off the phone now. Okay, so this is like cool stuff. They're, I would highly recommend these. Highly recommend these. They have a lot of cute stuff and a variety of stuff inside. I am so sorry, my dog. Last one is some, some 90s fantasy gel pens. So that's my haul. My dog is saying, 
get off the phone. So I guess I should. So yeah, type in the comments, you know, what you think or your experiences with them. I'm curious. This is absolutely not sponsored. You can see by how many subscribers I have. This, this is nothing. But I just thought I would share because I, I haven't seen that much stuff. And a lot of times it's about the clothes. And then a lot of times it's like, it's like influencers who are clearly not giving true, true reactions. So, sorry for the long video, but I wanted to show you my dog. And I must go. My dog is calling. Bye.